Hello YouTube family, this is Ravi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So we are back on the series Learn Service Now from Zero till Advance in English version. So in the last class we have seen in part one of tables how to create table in service now, what are the different types available and what are the society concept which was very important as part of table is concerned. So if you have not seen that video, go back and check that video link in the description below and even you can check on the i button. So let's get started. So in the last class we have seen the tables. Now let me reopen the table. So we were over here tables. You just have to type tables over here. Under system definition you will find table. You can make this as a favorite so that it will come under your favorite section. So over here tables. Now this UI which I am currently using is your next experience UI. If you want me to prepare the video on the previous UI which was available in the different versions, let me know. I will convert this UI into the old UI. So we are on the tables and we are on the student database. We'll open this. Yeah, this is my table name where I have created two variables, two fields, student address and student name. So if I open this table separately, how to open the table in service now, you need to know the table name. Copy this paste over here on the list and dot list. If you do this dot list, a table is open in front of your screen. If I click on new button, you will notice that two fields is automatically available because these two fields are available on the table which we have created, which is student database. So you can see here student name, student address. Let's create three or four more variables. So let's click on new to create a variable in service now. Okay. And this time, let the type be student name, student address, let's say string choice. The type choice, you can mention the column label. Uh, select your subject. Select your subject. Now this will be my another field called select your choice subject. But choice is something you will have to choose from the below drop down. So you will get a choice to create whatever you want. So just click outside, you will notice column name will be automatically created. So this all we have seen and why the U prefix is coming up, everything we have seen in our previous video. Tables part one. So you can go back and check that recording if you have missed that part. Now, just save it. What you will notice under this section, uh, this one, there's a choice field available related list. So here we will create our choice. So let me create a choice. So let's say the label will be uh, service now. This is my choice, first choice. And the value will be, always remember every label has their value. Like if you see here, we have a label and we have a name. It's nothing but value, label and their value. So here also the value should be there. So let me put snow. And there's an option called sequence. You can double click it and you can change it to let's say zero. At zero position, I want service now. Let's double click. C++. I'm so sorry, service now spelling is wrong. Service now. Yep. Now again, C++ backend name. You can put any backend name. Doesn't matter. Sequence number one. Now what is the sequence means over here? It means that in which way you want this service now C++ to display on the page. Let me show you. If I go back and refresh the page, you will notice select your choice. And this is a drop down. If I click here, you will notice service now and C++. Because of this, it is happening. Come down. Uh, let's say C, capital C, C line. Okay. Just type C. And let's make it. So first will be displayed as service now, second C++ and third will be C line. If I refresh the page, service now, if you want to change it or rearrange it, you can use this option called sequence. For example, you want C line to be present at point number two, you can use two this and let's make it three. So let's make it one. Now zero, one, two, rearrange the sequence, right click, Z2 way you shot it. C210 or you can do like this also A to Z. So first will be service now, second will be C land, third will be C++ you can see here. Service now. 
service now c lang and c plus plus but can you tell me why this none is coming up over here i have not created none the reason this none is coming because once you create any type or choice under this section choice list specification you will notice there's an option written here drop down with none so if you don't want a drop down to be available with the value none if you select c drop down without none then you must have to specify a default value and what is default value we have already discussed so here if i put something it will be available on the form so let's say the default value is no or let's say c plus plus over here if i put c plus plus save it you will notice when the page is loaded none will be gone as c plus plus is coming up on the top that is by default see always if i again refresh the page it is always coming so this is called your default value so i don't want default value i want none so i will use none suggestions is not needed as of now i'll tell you when a suggestion will be required now this choice is created uh and let me create last choice other others copy and you can paste it over here others the value let's say three okay now this is our choice let's create another field on the table so student name student and I select your choice uh gender okay gender will be also of different type so we can choose this type over here what we can choose we can choose the option called okay date of enrollment so i will tell you one shortcut instead of going here open the student database and click on new button see it will take some seconds click on new button then you will be able to create another choice or another variable over here but what i will do from the top just delete this option and just put minus one if you put minus one a brand new form will be coming up in front of your screen this is one of the shortcut which i use and you can also use to create a variable staying on the same page first of all you have to select your table name so our table name was student database so we are going to select student database yep and let's say this time choice i'm going to use this uh date and time column name is registration date date and time okay that's it nothing else uh, automatically it will be coming up and just i am saving it so this variable will be created on our form over here see registration date and time click here automatically this date field and the time field is coming up and let me create a last option here again put minus one and the type this time i'm going to choose is let me just first type student table name student database student database and the type let's select uh, string let me select the string or let's select uh yeah string okay and here i'll choose phone number enter your phone number so in the string you know that we can enter the value also character also number also or will be present in the form of double quotes the single line text that's it so default value i will put plus nine one so what will happen this is those who belongs to india by default the value will be plus nine one as simple as that just save it and see refresh the page you will notice automatically plus nine one is coming now you can stop right you can put your numbers over here that is called your phone number now last variable i am going to create for you guys is enter your recent photos obviously so you should require a photo let me delete this put minus one and then use the type where or select your table student yep and the type let's select uh, image yeah we have image and upload your recent picture column name will automatically select it done let's submit it our work is done guys on the table part 
So this we have already created. We close this, refresh the page. Here you will notice these five fields are auto created. Now you can fill the details. For example, let me fill student name is let's say Ravi. Student address is Bangalore. Select your subject service. Now user can enter the value and the date of registration. So I started my YouTube channel on 5th of March. At the timing was around yes 1 p.m. And the phone number 8147251988. XXX. You can upload your picture. Just click on choose file. You can upload any picture. So let's upload. Uh, okay. I'm just uploading a government logo. Then your data is created inside your table. So we have created one data inside our table. And if I open this in a list view, so how to open a list view? First of all. You should know the table name u underscore student database. Copy this, go back and type here dot list. Or if you don't know the table name, best option is you, you know the module name, obviously, because this is a student database table. So you will use just student database. Open it. And this is my table. You can see only this field is coming automatically because on the list view, we have not set our personalized list. So it's a day two video. If you have seen the list view and the form view, I have already mentioned about it. You need to personalize your list. So there is gear icon on the top. So in this view, the gear icon is on the top. But in the previous view, the gear icon was here. You can use both on these are same. Let me remove this created. Let me bring a student name, student address, select your subject, registration date and time, phone number and upload your picture. That's it. Click on OK and you will notice it is by default coming up over here. Correct? The value which I have created. Now this is your table. This is your list view and this is your. If you open this, right click open the new window. This will open a new table for you, new record for you over here. And this record has all the data. Now what I will do is I will change the view which you are seeing. Let's say I want these two in the one line and these three in the other line. So in this case, what we can do, we have to customize our form. So how to customize our form? We will see that in the very next video. So thanks. Thank you all. I hope you have liked this video. So this is how we have created the table in service now. And trust me, the same type you are going to create when you are part of any client projects or any project which is there for service now. And even when you are working as a service now, admin and developer. So tables look like this. Only we have to rearrange this column. And I will bring a very quick video on that. In very short video, how to configure your form. So that's all for today. Thank you so much. We'll meet in the next video.